All right, everybody, welcome back. So we have another FFT AI battle coming for you. And uh, we have two old tournament teams duking it out with one another. I don't remember if they duked it out in the past or if they if they never met or if they did. But we'll find out um, how they go against each other. But on top, we have uh, Filsov. And then on bottom, we have Melanchthon once again. So to introduce the units, we have Efright, the Geomancer, Sylph, the Thief, Dow, the Monk, and Mirror the Oracle. And now for Melanchthon, he has Melanchthon the uh, Lancer, Pania the Summoner, Chandra the Summoner, and Mrs. K in the Mine. So, uh, yeah, let's just see how these uh, teams uh, fare against each other in the Kali area underground third floor. I'm not, I, I can't always envision like what the maps are just by their names alone, unless they're very distinct. Um, this is the first colliery map, though, I remember in the Beowulf side quest, so. <clears throat> okay. So, some witch dances are going up by uh, Filsav's uh, dancer. That's the only uh, dance she knows. Um, we'll see if it lasts long enough to make an impact. And the other thing I just noticed, too, is that, that uh, there's only one male unit. There's only one male unit on that team, so only the Lancer can get charmed. No one else can. Um, Malikton's going in. Let's see. Teleport? Is there going to be a charm, though? No. Oh, there is a Darkness Brock, though. But it doesn't matter because Mimes have an innate Concentrate. One of four trigger. Wow, so five out of eight uh, Slow Dances trigger. That's... The longer this goes on, the more advantageous it's going to be for Melanchthon. And smart of the summoner, she charges up a spell and then runs away. I'm sure that the uh, staff whack is to do a sufficient amount of damage to kill her off. Remedy for the hell of it, they're kind of just staying safe. The Lancer may be able to get a turn off though, or I should say the Geomancer, he may be able to get a turn off and cast uh, his elemental. And then the monk right here, oh the monk doesn't have earth slash, so I just, I just remembered that. Um, She's still charge up her spell, Leviathan. And, uh, yeah, so one kill and looks like a good chunk of damage. Blind doesn't do anything to Mimes, it's irrelevant. Mimes have any concentrate, so that's just a waste of uh, CT and MP, but alas. I guess it gives the Lancer something to do. One for one, a raise. Nice. The monk should be able to put her down. If uh, if he gets a turn off, but Hamido, all right. So turn wasted there, not good. I don't think this will kill her off. Sixty damage, yeah. She healed up for seventy, so she'll be in critical, and then she'll be able to run away and heal up a little bit. This is gonna kind of like a nuking team with the summoners, and then it's a status theme team. Uh, and remember, just remember that those uh, slow dances went off. So the extra turns that these units are gonna get is gonna come into play big time. Um, Monk is probably going to get a mid-charge. And Hamido, there's the Hamido bait that's really good. Because when you charge up that spell and you take 50% more damage, the AI is going to be tempted to try to one-shot that unit. And that's what you could do with Hamido with some mages. It, it can work, which is pretty interesting. As such right there, 220 damage. He's running away. Good job. I'm not sure if the Oracle will get a turn off before the Summoner's summon goes off, but we'll see. Um, 201 damage summon. She should be able to. They should be able to get their summons off before the upcoming turns. And it appears that they do. Yeah, charm fifty-four percent. Okay, so it is a two-on-two two right now, effectively. Okay, the lancer should be able to resurrect. No, but I don't know about this because. The scholar does remember. The scholar has uh, only dance, so she can't revive anymore. It is a. As soon as I say that, that lancer revives. <laughs> that the lancer has his own revival. Uh, and now uh, both uh, the oracle and the summoner have Hamido, so it can trigger. Oh, it does not. It does not hit. Let's see. Side shot. It does. Okay. Uh-oh, 77% and it misses. Oh, that is unfortunate. That charm 
It was like the last grace, but Charm has worn, worn off, and now it is up to this uh, Oracle. And the Oracle does have revival, but I don't think it matters. The ship goes off, and we're going to round two. Yep. Yep. So just like that. Um, those slow dances, I think, uh, definitely took their toll, and uh, it definitely paid off for Malink in the end. In the end, on this map, so let's see how much of a difference a small map makes. Maybe the charm will go off for its turn. We'll see. And welcome back for the underground bookstore, second floor. This is the first map where uh, the map right before you fight uh, is loot. Um, you, know, you know, you're trying to save uh, Alma and all that stuff. He's kind of dangerously charging for that uh, uh, thief is the summoner. And the, mime, the mime's getting in position and the summoner can, the summoner's ready to just uh, unleash all hell. I could be wrong though. Sleep does trigger, so the mimics are not going to go off, assuming these summons do go off. And they should. Again, they're all bunched up. And the summoners can just, you know, reapply their damage as such. 8 MP isn't going to do anything. This should be able to kill them off. Oh, what? Uh oh. Uh, is that... Oh, no. Mid-charge? Redirected the spell? Broke him out of the sleep, so that's kind of a backfire. Yep, and now that mime is going to mimic it. Oh, but it's out of position, unfortunately, because of the targeting. This is not looking good for Philsop at all, unfortunately. Because his units just marched up too far forward in front of those summoners just to get instantly killed. Um... One of them has a Mito. I can't remember which one. Haha, <laughs> Mimic Jump. Nice. Oh man, 200 damage. That's something. Jesus. Alright, well. Decisively, Malenkin has uh, Best of Philsop in this Best of 3. So, uh, congratulations. Uh, you take the victory over um, Philsop this time, Malenkin. And, uh, Phil. Um, once again, uh, thanks for playing. Hoping to see your uh, team at future matches. Yep.